hey guys hope you all are doing well consider subscribing my channel and welcome to the club today's video topic is model of cell memory there are four different model the first one is grendel and grotter's model the second is the danelli davidson model the third is the unit membrane model and the fourth is the fluid mosaic model fluid mosaic is the important model here so we will be focusing on that so let's start with the first model that is grendel and grotter's model that was proposed back in 1920 it is the lipid lipid bilayer model they simply hypothesized that if the plasma membrane is a bilayer membrane then the monomer of lipid layer would be double but if two monomer of lipid would form the plasma membrane or the cell membrane the second model that replaced grendel's and grotter's model was danelli davidson model it was proposed in 1935 by james danelli and h davidson it was also called as sandwich or trilaminar model according to this model two lipid layers are sandwiched between continuous layer of protein so you can see here in the diagram evidences that supports danelli davidson model were based on the electron microscope study of cell that uh, showed that membrane had two dark band with a lighter band in electron micrograph protein appear darker than the phospholipids but this model was not accepted as it has drawback or problem with the model the first problem that protein were of varieties of shape so they would not be able to form uniform and continuous layer on the outer surface of the membrane second membrane protein were later to be discovered as hydrophobic substances or water insoluble substances third the fluorescent antibody tagging of membrane protein showed that they were mobile and not fixed in the place the red and green fluorescent protein attached to the antibodies that binds to the membrane protein reveals that they were mobile second the unit membrane model in 1957 jd robertson replaced danelli davidson's model according to him the membrane has trilaminar characteristic two darker outer band of protein whereas one inner lighter core of bilayer lipid membrane his study was based upon kmno4 stained electromicroscopic images of myelin and various tissues and cells but the problems or the drawbacks with this model were that it was just similar with the danelli davidson model and it did not explain permeability and elasticity of the cell membrane the third the entry of fluid mosaic model s jen singer and g l nicholson proposed fluid mosaic model in 1952 according to them the membrane is a fluid with mosaic of protein proteins are found to be floating in the lipid bilayer instead of forming any different layer as the previous uh, model suggested so to understand this concept of uh, fluid mosaic model consider the fluid as the lipid bilayer and you know mosaic mosaic is a type of art that is made up of different structure of different shape and color so similarly protein are floating in the lipid bilayer similar to the mosaic so called fluid mosaic model so here is the question for you all do let me know the answers in the comment section if you like the video hit the like button subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell icon and follow me on instagram at the rate medical minion where i post questions and short notes regarding topics thank you for watching see you in the next video